Hi everyone, I'm Anna from Geo Marvel, and today I'll be walking through how to configure a map using ArcGIS field maps. To begin, I'm going to pull my data into an ArcGIS Pro project and configure it the way I like. In this case, I'm going to be pulling in a layer of streetlights around DC so that users in field maps can make inspections for the lights. Once I've configured everything that I want, I'm going to save my map and then publish as a web layer. I'm going to go through and create a name, summary, and tags that are going to be useful for my users. Once I've configured this, I'm going to select a folder for this project to go and make sure that my sharing settings are configured the way I want. From there, I'm going to configure the layer to make sure that editing is enabled as well as sync and exporting data so that users can meaningfully contribute to this map. I'm going to make sure that my content is correct before analyzing and publishing to ArcGIS Online. Once our layer has published, we can go to ArcGIS Online, refresh our page and make sure our data is there, and then open it in the Map Viewer. Once we open in Map Viewer, we're going to configure our base map as well as apply a filter so that my users can only inspect streetlights that are relevant, as well as configure a custom attribute display that will be meaningful to users in the field. I change my base map, apply my filters, and then configure my attributes. Once I finish, I make sure to save my map. This step is crucial for using field maps because once you move a web map into field maps and create a smart form for users to fill out, you cannot save the web map anywhere else or the smart form will be cleared. Once I've finished configuring everything, I can go to save my map, again adding a relevant title, tags, and summary for my users. Once I've finished everything, I can go back to my home page. From there, I go to the app selection and open field maps, where I'm taken to an overview. Here I can select my map and see an overview of the map, including the summary that I created, whether or not I have offline enabled, and who the item is shared with. To create a smart form, I'm going to navigate to content and select the layer that I'd like to edit. From there, I can drag and drop groups and pull in any attributes that I want my users to be able to edit. In this case, I want information about condition of the streetlight, the last time it was modified, and any modifications that were made. Once I've pulled in everything that I want for my form, I can configure the group name, giving it an appropriate title and description, as well as configure the attributes, giving them meaningful titles, as well as hints for my users on how to fill it out and whether or not the field is required. If you want something to appear in the form, but you don't want them to be able to modify it, you can always turn it off using the bottom blue arrow. Once we've finished configuring the smart form, save it. As a reminder, once you have created a smart form for a layer, make sure that you do not save the web map anywhere but field maps because if you do, the smart form will be deleted. Now that we've configured our form, we're ready to configure offline mode. Go to Manage Areas, where we can walk through creating a test area, as well as changing the name to be something relevant for your users. Make sure to save it. Once you've created it, you can click to inspect, as well as update it should you need to. In this case, I don't need this offline area, so we're going to select and delete. Now that we've gone through content and offline mode, we can configure sharing settings to make sure that everybody who needs to have access to this form does, whether that's sharing with the organization, making it public, or adding it to a group. Be sure to save any configurations you make. Now that we've gone through all of these steps, we're ready to move over to the Field Maps mobile app to see the user experience as well as fill out a street inspection.
Now that we've configured our web map using ArcGIS Online Web Map Viewer as well as the Field Maps Desktop, we're ready to move over to the mobile app to get a feel for the user experience and actually complete a street inspection. Once we download the app, we'll be prompted to log in to ArcGIS Online or Enterprise. We open our map and from there can view layers and toggle them on or off. We can also search for locations, zoom to them, and have the option to collect data there if we want, like you would in ArcGIS Collector. Instead of collecting data from Collector, we're going to move through and fill out an inspection another way. Users also have the option to change base maps, even if the default is set to something different. In this case, I'll move to a street view. In field maps, users have the option to select and edit multiple points at the same time. You can see that when you do this, you're shown the points as well as all of the attributes that each point contains, not the smart form that we created. While this is probably useful in other use cases, it doesn't do us a lot of good for individual inspections. We have the option to open the legend as well as mark up our map. In our case, we're going to say that this point is a pothole interfering with us filling out an inspection for that point. Users have the option to label and then also write notes for each of their markers. You see the label of the map change, as well as what appears when you click on it. From here, if we no longer want to see it, we have the option to either turn off the markup layer, or if it's no longer needed, we can delete them by selecting Clear All. From here, we also have the Measure tool, where you'll be able to measure straight lines or areas by selecting points on the map. You also have the option to change units. You can toggle on to the Area Measure tool and create a polygon that users can then select on the map. Once we're finished with this, we're ready to actually fill out an inspection. Let's zoom to a street light and select it. In a real use case, you can do this based off of your location, but in this case, we'll just select one randomly. You see the attribute display that we customly created in the web map viewer appear. You have many options for what you can do. In this case, we're going to edit. We now can fill out our form. Let's say the condition is good. Let's change the last modified date to today, and let's make a note that paint was modified when we inspected it. After we're finished filling out the form, we click Submit, and we can see in the attributes that the changes we've made have been saved to the point. This has been a great walkthrough on how to create and configure maps and smart forms for ArcGIS field maps. Thanks for watching.